Hi, this is John with The Evolving World. Today I'm doing a quick video on an interesting uh, adapter that I've discovered. This is called Tesla Tap. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to use a, tes a Tesla home charger or destination charger. And it allows you to plug into that, into there. And then use it with any electric vehicle or plug-in hybrid that uses the standard level 2 J1772 plug. And so you might be asking, well, what do I need this for? Well, there's situations that I've been in as there's more and more EVs on the road that are um, using public charging. There's a lot of times at places that I personally have gone where there's... Um, there might be like six of these plugs and there might be like three Tesla uh, plugs right next to it and what happens is all six uh, EVs will be using this plug and so like they'll all be in use and then meanwhile the three Tesla destination chargers are not being in use this would solve that problem is this the right thing to do to tap into the Tesla network well you know let's not forget that Tesla people have an adapter too and this is their adapter that plugs into their car. And um, you basically plug it into the car like that. And then you, um, your typical J1772 plug will go into there like that. And so I see a lot more Teslas doing that than I see people using their um, destination chargers. So let's not forget that, you know, we're all trying to do the same thing here. We're all trying to switch over to electric and make the, make the, the transition over so at this point in time it makes sense that you use any method you can and keep things rolling because if you roll up to a place and there's six chargers and they're all being in use you don't want to sit around and wait you know you want to be able to charge up your car keep moving keep everything flowing and so if there's three you know destination chargers and nobody's using them well why are they even there it's like it's ridiculous so you just use whatever plug you can the Tesla people use it all the time they go that way so we can do the same thing for our other cars that are out there. It weighs two pounds so it's not too heavy and it's assembled in the US. It's using uh, different parts but it's a uh, final assemblies in the US. Here's some additional information that comes with it. The only thing you really have to know is that when you're charging you have to take the Tesla power cord, stick it into the adapter, wait 30 seconds and then plug it into your car. And then when it comes to releasing it, you have to push on this button here first and wait until you hear a clicking sound, probably two or three seconds, you'll hear a clicking sound. And once you do that, what that is, is that, it, that it's the Tesla cord that's un, unlocking from the uh, adapter. And then you can pull this out of your car and then release this adapter from the cord. You have to do it in that sequence. If you don't do it in that sequence, you'll have issues. Because this thing, when it locks, it locks. And there's nothing that's going to separate it. The only way you can separate it is push the button and then release it. So that's the only thing you really have to know. It's a couple little quirks to it, but once you get familiar with it, it's, uh, it's pretty easy. Also, this is the uh, information. So if you want an updated list of your... Um, this is an alternative place you can buy it, but it's also like the, um, the list of updated cars. Okay, it's a good example right here at this particular location. There are regular J1772 plugs, but these are like limited to 3 kilowatts only. Well, here, these are much faster. This is the first time I actually saw an actual Tesla here. Usually there's no Teslas here at all. So we're going to go ahead and uh, use the plug right here. Okay, so it's about 30 seconds. So all we have to do now is just plug it into our car, as we normally would. Clicking sounds. Ah, yes, very good. And we are a charging. And that's all there is to it. So my final thoughts are, if you own an electric vehicle and or a plug-in hybrid, I think you should go out and get yourself one of these because this could potentially be a lifesaver, especially if you're in a situation where there's only Tesla destination charges available and you're running really, really low on power. I mean, think about it, as opposed to having to tow your car 
for two hundred dollars, this thing basically pays for itself in just one in one uh, usage. So just for that reason alone, I would get it. And think of all the different situations, as I mentioned before, where you know, do you what do you want to wait around for when it used to be available when there's several of these available right now? It kind of makes it's kind of a no-brainer. So that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did. Many more videos to come. Also, please try to click on those ads. It helps the channel.